You're watching UNICEF television. It is the right of every child to be healthy and learn with dignity, because every child deserves to be in a school that offers safe water, healthy sanitation, and hygiene education. But for the 1.2 million students in the occupied Palestinian territory, getting sanitation facilities and safe water in schools is a major challenge. Students at al Shiok Elementary School for Girls in Hebron did not have proper sanitation facilities for years. The secondary grade student used the bathroom first and we had to wait up to 10 minutes to use the toilets. Some girls used to wet themselves. After construction of the new toilets, girls now use them without any problems. Now, with funding from the government of Australia, UNICEF was able to partially improve the students' learning environment. UNICEF built a new block of sanitation facilities with nine toilets, including one for children with special needs. We want to help you to get a very good education and to live a safe and healthy life. We know that one of the ways that we can help you to do that is to make sure that your school buildings are good, that you have access to proper toilet blocks, uh, that you have access to good teachers. In 2010, with the support of AusAid, UNICEF built water and sanitation facilities for 59 schools, reaching 40,000 students in the West Bank and Gaza. This year, 44,000 students attending 55 schools will benefit from similar initiatives. I want to really acknowledge the government of Australia for all their support that will enable us with their generous support to be able to fulfill our mandate and be able to support the special efforts in ensuring that girls have access to good sanitation facilities. Improving water, sanitation and hygiene facilities in schools is a critical step towards ensuring a healthy physical learning environment. You've been watching UNICEF television. For more information, visit unicef.org. Unite for children.